Hey guys, I just wanted to show you something that I thought was really interesting and I haven't really seen people show how to do this um, anywhere else on the uh, internet. I'm working on an upcoming video that's focusing on sound sample comparisons. I'm using DaVinci Resolve. I wanted to show you a really cool trick that you can do, um, especially if you use a Shure MV88 microphone. Uh, these are amazing little microphones that plug right into the uh, lightning jack for your iOS or um, Apple phone. And these microphones are really powerful. The thing that's really cool about these microphones is that it actually has a bunch of different ways that it can record. It has a condenser mic that goes this way that records in a cardioid pattern. And then it has stereo mics on the sides that can record in a uh, polar pattern. And then it actually has an option that it can record both of those at the same time. And then you can use a little bit of editing magic in post to blend those tracks together to get a mid side technique. And it's really cool. So I actually uh, did a uh, recording comparison of every single mic that I own. I tried every different microphone I had in different combinations. And the one that sounded the best was this little Shure microphone. Um, but the trick is to run it in uh, with a mid side technique. And so I want to show you guys how I'm doing that. Okay. So check this out. I've got my DaVinci pulled up. You can see that I have the clips pulled up here. And the only thing that I've done is I've dropped these clips into DaVinci Resolve, which is free software. I highly recommend it. I've got the clips lined up. Uh, this is my camera clip. This was the camera audio recorded from my lav there. And then this is the um, microphone that was recorded from my, sorry, my Shure MV88, which you can see I have hooked up right there. Now you can see there's just one track right here, but let's go over to Fairlight. And over here, you can see that it has a stereo track here okay um, but if you notice these tracks they're not identical and that's because it's not actually stereo tracks it records the two microphones to the separate tracks and so here's how we're going to process that okay first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna add track we go mono add track mono and we're just gonna name these call this one left call this one right and then we're gonna copy these tracks here. Control C for copy. Go right here, Control V for paste. Click on this track, Control V for paste, okay? Now, look, these tracks don't look the same as this. Why? Well, because this one is stereo, these are mono. That's all right, because guess what? We're gonna take this track, we're gonna convert that to mono. We're gonna right click. We're gonna take this one and, and say, uh, change track type to mono. Now we have three mono tracks. They're all the same, right? Well, it's kind of because they're, they're still stereo tracks, even though they're in a mono track. So we're going to take each one and convert it to a mono track. So we go into the first one and this is the center mic. So we're going to make that um, track one. So we're going to right click and we're going to go clip attributes and we're going to go mono embed channel one. That's the center mic. And then the left and right channel here. Here we go. Click on this one. Clip attributes, mono embed channel two. And here we go into the right channel. Click on that. Clip attributes, mono embed channel two. So the nice thing is, is if we now, if we listen to these uh, A3 and A4 tracks, they will uh, sound the same basically. Now that we have the correct signal being sent to the left and right channel, the problem is it's actually the same signal. So what we, ha what we have to do is we have to go over here and we have to pick one track. I, I'm just going to arbitrarily pick A4 here. And if you're on DaVinci, this is where it gets a little tricky. Now, guys, check this out. I'm going to click this no input button right here. And I'm going to click path settings. And we're going to click this little weird button. It doesn't tell you what it does. That flips the phase. Okay. So now... Watch this. If I click play, nothing. You don't hear a thing. Why? Because the two tracks are perfectly out of phase and that deadens the sounds. It's the same philosophy as like noise canceling headphones. But here's the magic. So check this out. If we scroll down here, right, we can see the panning, right? 
So we're going to take a3, that's going to be our left, and we're going to pan that to the left. a3, we're going to pan that to the right. And now, listen to this. But that, it doesn't end there. Now this is where I really like to send this to the next level. You go up here to Fairlight. I'm gonna add a separate control that controls both of those channels at the same time. So you go up to Bus Format, you go Add Bus, make it a stereo bus, and I'm just gonna make it a different color just so that it's clear, okay? Click OK. You go back up to Fairlight. Okay, so then when you pull up, to bus assign, it'll look like this. Basically, you click the bus one out, then you uncheck the left and the right, and you send those to bus two. What you're doing is you're sending, you're telling bus two needs to go out to the bus one. And then what you're gonna do is bus the two out is gonna go left and right. Let's just make sure that works. So you can see here I got the left and right channel. Here's the bus two control. If I click play, you can hear it. But the really cool thing is if I adjust the slider, check this out. That one slider controls both of those channels. But the real magic, check this out. Let's go back to this track and let's listen to the center mic all by itself. Not bad. But listen when we add in the stereo mic, the left and right mics. I'm going to slowly fade those in. The great thing is you can dial in as little or as much of those stereo mics as you want to get a little bit of a stereo feel and it just gives a bigger, rounder feel to your sound. So hopefully if you're using DaVinci, if you have one of these Shure MV88s, you can use this tip and hopefully you'll like it.